am so tired of being so hot and sweaty and greasy every day of my life all summer. I'm just like, it, I'm tired of it. I am done with it. I want to go back to Maui. I, I want matte skin again. Is that really so much to ask for? Hmm? Texas sun, why do you have to hate me so much? I'm just... When I get hot and when I get hungry, especially a combination of both, I, I start to get angry. So I'm trying to like calm myself down, think cooling, peaceful thoughts, and let's do this video. Can't even turn like my studio light, can't even turn it on me, it's that hot in here. Anyway, so, project pan intro. I do need to do a little bit of talking here at the beginning, I need to explain myself a little bit. So if you're not into all that, you want to just get to the products, I will figure out how to do a timestamp or um, just skip ahead until I start talking about stuff that you're interested in. So I knew I wanted to do an, another project pan when I got back from vacation and I had it in my mind that I wanted to do 13 by Halloween and do it roulette style. And first of all, I don't think the roulette style is going to work out for me. Um, I'm getting down, I have like 85, something like that, makeup items left. So it's getting really specific what I want to pan and I just, I didn't feel good about letting go of the control of picking the products that I wanted. And I even went so far as like to write down some categories, you know, kind of group them together. And when I was doing that, I realized that I was thinking of specific items as I was writing them down. And it's kind of against the rules, if there are rules of roulette style panning. Um, basically, I mean, the point is for it to be a more random draw and that kind of defeats the purpose. Um, so I just don't, I just don't think it's gonna work out for me right now. I just didn't feel like I was, I'm at a point where I can just give up that control and just pick anything in my collection. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I just don't, I don't think it's going to work out for me. Second thing is, it's supposed to be 13, right? And I just couldn't, I just couldn't do 13 products. I have 10 here, and then as I'm finishing things up, I know that I will have, you know, a month down the road, no more products I want to put in. So that's what I'm going to do as I finish things. I'll rotate things in, which I do in all my pans. Um, but I have 10 right off the bat that I'm going to start working towards. I could have put in a couple extra items, like had hair care items, skin care item, but it just felt really like forced and fake to just like throw it in for the hell of it, you know what I mean? Um, just to like say I got to 13 products. And the third point I was going to make, this all kind of ties in together, and that's that I'm getting a little bit bored with panning. I know, it's such a terrible thing to say. Um, I think a lot of it had to do with vacation. Um, I barely wore any makeup for that entire three weeks. My skin has cleared up beautifully. My dark marks got darker because of so much sun sunshine, um, but my acne like is gone. And so I haven't really been wearing makeup now that I've gotten back either, and my skin seems to be doing really well with that, just letting it breathe more. So I'm not gonna like, force myself to pan like I kind of have in the past. I mean, it's never been a forcing because I've always enjoyed it, but I've always been really like hard on myself, like finish this up, finish this up, and like really dedicated to my products, use them every single day, you know, as much as I can. And I'm just not feeling that right now. I'm Like I said, I'm barely wearing makeup during the week, so I'm probably not gonna pan as fast um, as I have in the past. And then the other thing is just, I'm just not, I just haven't, I've just kind of lost my spark for makeup and everything to do with it. Um, I really want, I want to save my makeup, not long term, but I don't want to like go through everything. I don't want to pan everything in my collection because I don't want to be forced to buy new makeup. I know I'm seeing it in like a totally different light right now because I, I have some big plans and possibly maybe I, I might want to move back to Maui and um, move to Maui I don't know I kind of say I live there for a month every year um, and so I want to save as much money as possible and so I don't want to pan a bunch of stuff and have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff you get where my train of thoughts going with this anyways I've just kind of lost my spark for the whole thing not wearing it that much not obsessing about it that much I haven't been watching you know, new makeup videos, stuff like that. I'm just not that into it right now. Just right now in this place in my life, I just, I have other interests. So we're gonna see what happens. I still want to do this pan and this is what it all boils down to. If, if I'm interested in something, if I think it's gonna be fun, if I think I'm gonna enjoy it, I'm gonna do it. If I stop enjoying it, I'll stop doing it. 
So that's just kind of my, my philosophy in life right now. So we're gonna go into it and see what happens. So first thing is a Smashbox primer. This is the Pore Minimizing Primer. And I have a line right here on the back, so I'm just under that black band. And this is a product that I re-inherited. I gave this to my mom like a year ago, maybe longer than that, and she never even cracked the bottle open. So I got it back and I'm gonna try to finish it up. I've already finished up one of these small size Smashbox primers. I, it was the light version. I finished that up earlier this year, so it shouldn't take me too very long. Um, I actually do like it. I use a very small amount and I don't rub it into my skin. I like press it into my pores in my T-zone and I actually do really like it, um, but I don't use a whole lot of products. So this will probably last a little bit longer than a lot of my other primers have. The next item I picked was a blush and I chose a Bare Minerals Loose Blush. Uh, this one's in first class and you can see this is like a deluxe sample size. Um, I believe this came with a kit, probably with foundation, stuff like that. I have had this a while. I used to use a lot of bare minerals, so I probably got it in that time. But I wanted to use up at least one blush this year. It's the only category I don't have a single item finished in. And I think this product is going to be the best chance at me finishing one. Now the other face product I chose is from my Becca Afterglow palette, and it's Moonstone. I have just really fallen in love with it lately. Um, when I took this on vacation, I just, I fell in love with it. I think it looks so much better on me when I'm darker in the summer. Um, so while I have this tan, I wanna get the most use out of it as possible. So here's Moonstone. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see. This is a very reflective palette, um, but you can see I do have a little bit of a dip going in it. All right, let's move on to eyes. I did put my Lorac Pro Matte Palette in here. I've shown this a lot because I love this palette so much. I pretty much use it as the foundation of most of my eye looks every day. I kind of just go to it and grab it to do pretty much all my mattes. Um, I do have pan in every single shadow in here, and so I think it's time to start kind of using up some shadows now. I pretty much just want to start on this end and work my way down. I want to finish up what's left of linen. You can see here that's not a whole, whole lot, and then move on to bare, which has a decent pan, um, and then maybe latte, move on to corduroy, just down the palette. Um, although I think I mean, I think just for the challenge, if I can finish up the first two, then I'll kind of call this done. Like, that's my goal. If I finish up more, then that's awesome, but that's extra. I decided to throw in my only other cream shadow that I have, and it's a Bobbi Brown shadow stick. It's a long wear cream shadow stick in golden pink. Um, I was actually given this by one of my friends at work. Um, she decluttered it, and but what I believe is that this was a 100 point perk or something like that, because I've seen a few people have this size and a few different colors, so I think it was a 100 point perk. Um, this is how much product is in it, which is not a, and I have used this, you know, quite a few times. Um, but that's still a good amount for a cream product. It's kind of slow going. So, you know, you use it once and you really can't see that any there was any movement. Um, so it'll definitely take me quite a few uses to use this up. Um, to be honest with you, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think this color is gorgeous, um, but I want to get it out of my collection. It's not cruelty free. Now the last item I have in the eye kind of category is my Too Faced Perfect Eyes Eyeliner. This is in black, and if you can tell, this is limited edition, special edition packaging. This was from the Love palette, and I bought that palette when it came out, and I did not like it. Um, so I've since decluttered it, but I decided to keep the pencil and give it a try. Um, it's, not, it's not my favorite pencil, and it just it doesn't stay in the waterline very well. It runs. I have to clean it up during the day, but it's not so bad that I can't use it. This is the last black eyeliner that I have, and so I wanna finish it, I wanna use it up, and I wanna go back to an eyeliner that I know is really great quality. I have got some good use in on it. You can probably tell this pencil used to be bigger. That's where it starts. So I have worked on it for a bit. Um, it goes pretty quickly, actually, because you have to sharpen it nearly every single use. It's very, very soft, very creamy. I think that's what contributes to the running a little bit. Um, so I definitely wanna use this up and go back to a better black eyeliner. 
All right, and now I pretty much just have a bunch of lip products. So the first one is the only item that I have never finished in a project pan. It's not really my fault though. I put this in at the like two, three weeks before the end of my last project pan. I didn't think I was gonna finish it. Um, this is a Too Faced Le Creme Lipstick in Nude Beach. I have been working on it. I don't have a whole lot left. If I would have had just like two more weeks on that project, I would have finished this up, but I didn't. Then I have the Dior Lip Glow, and this is in the original color, which is pink. And I've had this for quite some time, and I, the thing is, I just don't think it's worth the price. Um, if this was like a drugstore lip balm or something like that, I'd say, heck yeah, all day, every day, go get it. Um, but it is not. It's $33 for a lip balm. And I love the scent of it, so that's a pro. It's like a soft vanilla mint. I love that kind of those kind of scents. So I like that, but it's not incredibly moisturizing. I just wish it was, I just wish it were, I don't know, I wish it made my lips feel a lot better, you know, for the price tag. Um, and the second thing is the color that it turns my lips, it's just too hot pink. And I, it's probably going to look different on every single person, but I just, I wish it was a more sheer pink. It kind of looks like I have a very sheer hot pink lipstick on and I'm just not the biggest fan of that. So that's how much I have left. I really haven't used it that much. Um, there's just not that much product in this package. And if you can tell, I am so that girl who flattens out all of her lip products. You know how they say, you know, it, it like, I don't know, it tells your personality by the way you shape your lipsticks. I'm the flat girl. I flatten all of them out every single time. I want it to be perfectly symmetrical on all edges, neat and perfect and just, yeah, flat. So it's just funny. And my mom's actually the same way too. I wonder if I got that from her. Then next, I just have assorted lip balms. Um, I really want to finish up this EOS because I'm not the biggest EOS fan. In fact, I think I had like three or four of them and I decluttered all of them. Um, but this one, my mom gave it to me like for Easter. It was in my little Easter basket. And I do think the ones with the swirls are a little bit better, but it's still not my favorite lip balm. So I do want to go ahead and finish this up. Um, I did mark it. You can tell, I mean, I've worked on it a little bit. I took the egg shape off of it and flattened it out as always. Um, but I still have, I mean, these, these take a long time to finish. Um, the thing is, I'm not even going to start on this until I finish up um, another lip balm that I have, which is this one, the Blistex Soft and Lush. And I don't have a whole lot left of this one, if you can tell. I actually like had to pick this up in an emergency in Maui. Um, when I got there, I realized that none of the lip balms I took had SPF in it, and I, you need that. So this is like all they had at the uh, gift shop at our hotel. So I picked it up, but we, I mean, we all pretty much used it. Me and my mom especially, like I would take it to, you know, down to the pool or the beach and pretty much everyone would use it in my family. Um, so that really helped it get gone really quickly. And I reapplied a lot during the day too. So I just need to finish this up and then I'm going to move on to my EOS. Okay, and the last two products I have in here are both kind of sprays, so no more makeup, traditional makeup items. The first one is the Cinema Secrets Brush Cleanser, and I did put a mark on it, and then I did spot clean my brushes once more since I marked it. And I will tell you, I mean, this, this cleans your brushes incredibly well. I mean, you can just see the shadow, the pigment just melt off of them. Like I'm, I would never take it away from this product. It is, it's good at what it does. The thing is, I can't stand the scent. Oh, it's, it's bad. It's vanilla, but it's like a super fake chemically and very, very strong vanilla. Um, and I, I mean, that's kind of a personal thing too. I hate vanilla. I hate just plain vanilla. Something about it just bothers me. And the very last product is the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Facial Mist. And I have about a quarter of the bottle left. I don't want to mark it because I want to save this bottle. I think it's really pretty. Um, and I'd like to make my own facial mist, maybe with tea tree, lavender, I don't know. Or, or maybe even just water, just have a nice spray bottle of water on my vanity when I need it. Um, this bottle was $38, $38. I don't know who the hell I thought I was. Anyway, so I just, I wanna go ahead and use it up. I'm not gonna like waste it. I'm not gonna overuse it or anything like that, but I'm gonna try to be conscious about using this up because it's basically just a nice reminder of a stupid purchase. 
So those are the products I'm gonna be working on for the next three months. I'm gonna end this again October 31st. Um, like I said, we're just gonna to have to see how this goes. Maybe once I get back into it, it'll kind of reignite that love affair for panning. Um, maybe I should have done it roulette style. Maybe that was something new I needed to kind of make it fresh again or something like that. I don't know. So let me know your thoughts. <laughs> let me know how you're feeling about panning right now. Are you still like super into it as, you know, as excited about it as the, you know, first pan you ever did? Yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'd really, I'd really appreciate that insight. I'll see you guys in a couple of days in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And remember that you are already famous right where you are in your hometown. Love y'all. Bye.